It is a Saturday night under the lights from Lynn Family Stadium here in Louisville, Kentucky. Lou City back at home playing host to the Oakland Roots for the first time ever with the former pro striker Corey Herzog. I'm Josh Eastern. Thanks so much for being with us. Let's take a look at the standings presented by PowerNet. We'll start in the Eastern Conference where Louisville, they are right in the thick of this playoff race and maybe trying to work their way up the standings and into a home playoff spot. Three points tonight would go a long way. On the other side for the Oakland Roots, boy, they have just motored their way up these standings all the way up into third place. Can they maybe put some pressure on those top two spots? They just got a win on the road the other night. Let's see what they can do here tonight. But as of late, Oakland, they've just been playing a ton of tight games, but they've been getting good results. Yeah, and those are coming in later in the season. These tight games are what you're going to want to win and get three points later in the year when they mean so much more. And we'll see what they can do here tonight on the road. Of course, they got that win 2-1 against New Mexico on Wednesday and trying to continue that. And when we look at a big reason why they've been getting these close wins, it's because Paul Blanchett, he's posting a bunch of clean sheets. Yeah, he has nine clean sheets. He's playing well, and when he's playing well and you get clean sheets, you're most likely coming out with a win. So if he can get a clean sheet tonight, that'll be huge for Oakland tonight. Paul DeWall in goal for the Roots. On the other side, the other goalkeeper, Oliver Zemla, the rookie. Boy, 11 clean sheets for him. Yeah, it's going to be hard to score some goals tonight with these two keepers, but it'll be exciting. And if he can, like I said, if he can keep another clean sheet, that just adds more ways that you can win a game. Let's take a look at tonight's player profile presented by Commonwealth Credit Union. It's Wilson Harris. He is the chosen striker tonight for Danny Cruz. Yeah, and you just want to get confidence in him. You want to get find him, find him the ball early in this game, get some confidence, and hopefully he can put one in the back of the net. We are building you up to first kick here tonight from Louisville, Kentucky. It is East versus West, the first ever matchup between Louisville City and the Oakland Roots. We'll have lineups in first kick coming up next from Lynn Family Stadium. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Subaru on the Dixie, where this month you can lease a brand new Subaru Forester or Subaru Outback for just $3.15 a month. We've got this and more at Neil Huffman Subaru on the Dixie. Huff, have Saving up for your goals should be effortless. That's why Commonwealth Credit Union invented Roundup. Roundup automatically puts money into your savings account by rounding up every purchase to the nearest dollar. So your morning brew, savings. Dinner with friends, how about a side of savings? Mobile purchase, mobile savings. In fact, last year our members saved five and a half million dollars just through Roundup. We'll even match your savings for the first 90 days. It's time to make your savings effortless with Roundup. Only from Commonwealth Credit Union. Here, we see you differently. Sunday, the NFL is back on Fox. Bring that dog out! Gotta love it! It all starts as rookie QB C.J. Stroud looks to make his mark. My goodness! And ignite a new era in Houston. Incredible! Now, he leads the Texans into a preseason showdown against the newly minted Derek Carr and the Saints. Oh, what a catch! Touchdown! Preseason football, Sunday at 8 Eastern on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Hi, Shane Huffman with Neil Huffman Subaru on the Dixie, where this month you can lease a brand new Subaru Forester or Subaru Outback for just $3.15 a month. We've got this and more at Neil Huffman Subaru on the Dixie. Huff, have it. Front loader odor. You know that smell when you open your funky front load washer? But at GE Appliances, we've engineered the first and only front load with an ultra-fresh vent system with odor block. Equipped with vents that help keep it dry and antimicrobial technology that protects against bacteria. Basically, funky to fresh, so you can- Shut the front door. No one says that. Another way we make good things for life. No. Teams entering the field here tonight at Lynn Family Stadium. It's Louisville City and it's the Oakland Roots. We have it for you here tonight. It's time to take a look at tonight's starting lineups. They are presented by Breeze Airways. Nice, new, and non-stop. That's the Breeze way. And for Danny Cruz, six changes into the lineup tonight. Yeah, with their loss coming from Birmingham, not the result they wanted. Trying to change something up, and hopefully Harris can be that spark that they want to see up top. And he gets the nod in that number nine spot. Lancaster and Martin Powell's both starting on the bench. 
on the other side for the Oakland Roots. They're coming off a Wednesday road match. It was a win against New Mexico, but a few changes here as well. Yeah, when you play a Wednesday game, you're always gonna have changes just to keep the guys healthy late in the season, a lot of miles on them, but huge win in New Mexico. Let's see if they can do it again tonight, and that's a huge road trip for Oakland right there. Yeah, they stayed in New Mexico, traveled on Thursday, trained yesterday here in Louisville, and now they are ready to go here today. A tough little road swing for them, but we'll see what they have in the tank here today. Our referee is Abdu Njai. He'll be the man with the whistle in the middle. Of course, it is Louisville in their familiar purple and Oakland in all white tonight. Waiting on the whistle. There it is, and away we go tonight. A beautiful sunny evening in Louisville, Kentucky, or Louisville City and Oakland Roots. The inaugural matchup between these two sides. And already an early attack here coming for Louisville. Jimenez trying to track it down. And Louisville takes some time on the ball. We talked to Danny Cruz this week about the game against Birmingham, a 2-0 loss. He said we, we started flat, our energy was poor, we got outworked. He said we didn't take any positives away. Here's Elijah Winder trying to start this one quickly. Just couldn't get it out from underneath his feet, and this is cleared away. He'll chase it down, and he'll keep the ball. And this is what you want to see from Louisville early. Uh, Oakland playing Wednesday, traveling, and now they, they didn't start the game like they wanted to in Birmingham, but now they're coming out on fire, already creating maybe one or two chances. Unfortunate not to finish that, but if you're Danny Cruz, this is what you want to see in the first minute of the game. Definitely not coming out flat to start here at home, even though home form has been tough for them as of late. Let's take a look at tonight's weather report. It is brought to you by Advanced ENT and Allergy. It's a warm evening, but it is a comfortable evening as well here in Louisville, Kentucky. Nice sunny skies. For this Oakland side, that 2-1 win against New Mexico on Wednesday. Palayas and Reed getting on the score sheet. They didn't concede that goal until second half stoppage time. Noah Delgado said, it was a bit bittersweet giving that up, but happy to still get the win in the end. It's a tough place to go and grab three points against a team that is battling for playoff positioning as well. This Oakland Roots side, they just keep grinding out results. As we mentioned you in the open, a lot of their games have been within about a goal or they've been draws, but all of them have been tight. So it's a foul, it'll be a free kick to the Oakland Roots. And like we said, with Louisville starting off fast, Oakland need to focus on these first 15 minutes, try to slow the game down, slow down Louisville, and just stay in the game in the first 15, 20 minutes because you are coming off a game on Wednesday and a lot of travel. I assume we will see quite a few subs coming from the roots as this game progresses. Now Brian Tamakas tonight. Joseph Nane out of the lineup as well. Happy to get Johnny Rodriguez back. He's, he's out for a few weeks. Played about 25 minutes on Wednesday. You know what Delgado says, just about building some fitness back. He gets the nod from the start here today. And this is blocked down, and, and it'll open up an opportunity here for the Roots. And a shake of the hips. Reed will lay this off, and Oakland will recycle. Had an opportunity maybe to slide that pass into the top of the box with two guys there. If he can just pick up his head, get rid of some of those shimmies, just pick up his head, play the easy ball, you have a shot on goal there. Looking for some style points here early yeah. on, though. <laughs> Here's a look at Oliver Zemla. We mentioned his 11 clean sheets. It's been a great start to his rookie campaign here in the USL Championship. Of course, Kyle Morton out due to injury, and it's been Zemla who stepped up he found as backup goalkeeper. Zemla has gotten the nod. Pretty much week in, week out now for Danny Cruz. Oh, 
up over the top. That's going to be a foul against Rodriguez. He'd like a conversation about it first, though. Not sure what he's arguing there. Jumped a little early there going up. Like the aggression, though. I think it's a foul every time. Yeah. <laughs> Commonwealth Credit Union has been bettering lives in the communities they serve since 1951. To learn more, visit WeSeeYouDifferently.com. Paddle forward in the middle, and it's Winder who comes away with it. He's coming forward. Gonzalez sliding it back. Elijah Winder saved. Paul Blanchett. A big stop here early on, denying Louisville a golden chance. And what a one-two this is. Great weight by Gonzalez. If he hits this with his right foot, though, he can curl that around as he lets it come across the body, which opens up so much more space for the keeper to get his body there. If he hits that with his right foot quicker, slots it far post. It's one nothing Louisville five minutes in. Danny Cruz had a lot of good things to say about Elijah Winder saying, this switch to a 3-4-3 three, has maybe opened up a few more of his skills and has let him get into moments like that a little bit more often. But Paul Blanchett is still down here for Oakland. Now he gets back to his feet. These maybe are the chances that Louis needs, Louisville needs to finish early. Five minutes in, you go up one nothing on an Oakland team that's just traveled in, played on Wednesday, heads go down. So it's a huge moment, but an unbelievable save from Blanchette there. Hopefully, looks like he'll be fine. Reason for the stoppage was because Emil Hackshot was down and he makes the slow walk off. We'll see if he can continue on here. Hackshot was behind the play. Have a look at this, though. Just a great stop from Blanchette. Drop ball, put it back in play. Blanchette, who leads the USL in saves coming into the weekend with 88. As Hackshaw jogs back on, it's one of those stats where it's good that you lead the league in saves, but I don't know if you necessarily want to be the one that leads the league in saves. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to be that. I mean, you're happy with all the saves, but you don't want to be doing that every night in, night out. The amount of close games they have been in, and the Jets saves have kept them in quite a few contests. Here's Hackshaw and Clementa. Memo Diaz. Right idea. He sees that run. If you can get that a little bit more wider, great run by Rodriguez. Yeah, throw in coming here for Lou City. And you can see Oakland just taking their time, killing the game. Just playing smart these first 10, 15, 20 minutes. Danny Cruz called this Oakland side a blue collar group. Back up, a bit of handball. Barbier wants to hit this from distance. It's blocked and it falls to Clementa again. Played with Manfeca and Reno. He has a little tricks up his sleeves. Ref missed that handball there, but. Um, you can disguise it, right? Yeah. It comes up, okay. <laughs> yeah. A little clever, he's smiling about it. Just a bit too far for Wolfgang Prentice who gets the start at left back today. Left wing back, if you will. Interesting, when you look at these two teams' records, just three points separate them. Oakland with one more win. But you, you'd say for Louisville, everything's going bad, you're not getting results, you're in the middle of the table, not everything's going bad. But in, in the context of Lou City in the past, it's for Oakland, 
Just three more points, but you're saying everything's going great. This is the highest they've been at this point in the season. Different perspectives for, for these two teams. Yeah, definitely. And if you're Oakland, you're sitting in third place in the Western Conference. You're excited. You're happy. You're, you're wanting now that home playoff game. That's in sight, and that's what you're focused on. And now for Louisville, who maybe is not used to sitting this low in the table, is like what were you talking about? Are they going to be playing now for a play, home playoff game, or are they going to be fighting to be in playoffs, which... As I know, I've played in the league. Louisville will figure it out, and hopefully we'll crawl up the table in a little bit. Trying to play this in the middle for Rodriguez. Jimenez tracking back, able to cut that out. Pass for Winder off the mark, but he recovers okay. And here comes Louisville. Jimenez trying to keep this in play, and it's finally cut out. Be a throw into Oakland. I don't think Louisville's in any danger of falling out of the playoffs, but for them to go on the road in the first round of the playoffs would be something that we haven't seen in a very long time. For sure. And for Oakland, of course, the West, as close as it is, they came in tonight on 40 points, tied with Orange County. And that is very close there in the middle with San Diego, Colorado Springs, El Paso, all right there. Seven points behind second place San Antonio. That might be a tough one to, to catch San Antonio at the rate that they are scoring and earning points. But we'll see what this Oakland side has in this run in for the season. Yeah, Oakland's really focused on keeping that third spot, trying to catch San Antonio off if possible. Great ball from Mafeka to find Wolfgang Prentice. Prentice! Tough angle on the shot. Did it maybe take a deflection? Sails out for a goal kick. Good by Prentice to take on the defender there. Maybe not the best option, but getting the shots on target, trying to create something. And if he can maybe take this guy on, get a cross in there for the forward, takes him on. Yeah, it's a good, good little deflection there. Could be a corner. They'll get this back in play. Here's Hackshot. And turned over. What can Louisville make of this? Trying to chip this in behind. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Pretty straightforward save there for Blanchett. been the struggle for Louisville so far this season and Danny Cruz has talked about it and just says this back three chances created has improved transitional chances have gotten better but it's when they decide to press those moments that needs to improve a little bit and we'll see if they can figure that out tonight but they're just looking to try to score some more goals just 26 goals scored that's third from last in the USL championship And you can see the presses there. It's just that one, maybe one guy getting there a little late that makes it easy to come out. Just need to get everybody together in that press and get it on the same page. It's interesting with Wilson Harris getting the start tonight. There have been so many changes at that striker position, whether it's Powell's, whether it's Lancaster, but as you know, it, goals come in bunches for strikers, and do you feel like that's maybe a, a bit of a struggle for a few of these strikers? They can't get a consistent run of games. Yeah, right now, and as you're, as you're the coach, you're just trying to get that one striker to catch fire. You're just trying to get that one to score the goal in the late of the season and go into playoffs on fire. You're just trying to find that relationship that's going to work for your last nine to ten games to get into the playoffs. Tonight it's Wilson Harris. We'll see if he can get going. Del Piccolo, he's fouled from behind. It's a free kick going 
Louisville's direction. That was Napo Masoso, who, of course, is making his return here to Louisville tonight. Good professional foul, because I think Piccolo was going to pick out a run by one of the forwards there, so good professional foul. He's arguing might not be, but it looks like he got body before. Still talking to him. And those two, those two, of course, former teammates. Masoso, 89 appearances, 11 goals. Spent five years here in Louisville. And makes his return here tonight. Also played his college soccer at Kentucky, so back in the Commonwealth. Yeah, you know he wants this game. No doubt about it. He's getting stuck in early, too. Yeah. Jimenez. Going to float it out wide. Mogul. Mogul picks it up again. Driving forward, chance to slide this in. It's Serrano and it's Paul Blanchett again and again. Two saves from Paul Blanchett, earning the nickname Paul the Wall tonight. Two great opportunities again for Louisville. And like you said, Paul the Wall just coming up big, not only once, but twice to keep his team in it in the first 15 minutes. This game could be two nothing in the first 15 minutes if he wasn't on the game like he is right now. What a ball here. Hides it from the defender. Tries to chip him, I think. Great reaction save. And then again, right afterwards. And he's down again, though. Double save there from Paul Blanchett. Could be a, an early candidate for save of the week, or saves of the week, if you will. <laughs> I can see where he gets those 88 saves on the year. <laughs> I think he has three already tonight. <laughs> yeah. so he's up to 91. Stoppage here. I think if you're Danny Cruz, you have to like this start. They've had some good quality opportunities. If not for Paul Blanchett. And if you and if you like this start, you got to finish those opportunities because what did we say in the beginning? Oakland wins games one nothing. It could be it could be zero zero, and all of a sudden Oakland has that one chance, and it's one nothing Oakland, and they'll defend. They'll defend. They'll keep that clean sheet like they have for the nine that Blanchett has had. Six of their last eight games have been within one goal or a draw. It's just been tight game after tight game. And the other two games during that eight game stretch were a couple of 3-1 wins on the road against Monterey Bay and El Paso. It's another facet of this Oakland side. When they come on the road, they've been very tough to beat. Four straight road wins against New Mexico, Charleston, El Paso, and Monterey Bay for the most road points in the Western Conference with San Antonio at 23. Becca trying to slide that in behind. Just broken up the last moment. Yeah, you see the idea there. He's apologizing to Ford. If he can just get that clean touch, it looks like it just bounced off the turf the wrong way. But usually is good with those through balls. Unfortunate there not to hit it well. Looking for that long ball over the top. This will bounce into the arms of Paul Blanchett. Almost everybody in the league playing tonight. 11 games in action. There'll be one more tomorrow between Birmingham and Detroit. Plenty of intriguing matchups across the league. El Paso trying to get back on the winning track. They have a lead against Hartford. Loudon against Indy. All three of the games that kicked off at seven, the road team with a 1-0 lead. It's a good sign here for Oakland. <laughs> Fecca fouls. Fans, when Loose City wins, you win. This season, Loose City has partnered with Wendy's to give you a free small Frosty. If the boys in purple win, no purchase necessary. The offer is valid the following day after a win. Head to any participating Louisville area Wendy's location to redeem. Manchette on the clearance. 
Jimenez heads it forward again. Too far looking for Jorge Gonzalez. And you can see Louisville's press there already. Seven guys up on the field creating that long ball. Unfortunate with the header just a little too far, but you can see what Louisville's trying to do. They're trying to press, win the ball higher up the field. Pretty young front line for Louisville. So many of these players experienced and been with the club for quite some time, but Serrano, Gonzalez, Harris, just their first couple years. Here's Gonzalez, dancing on the ball. Just couldn't keep it. Oakland trying to play out, and they do find an outlet. Here's Reed, able to find Wits, Lindo Mafeka. To switch the point of attack. Prentice, all he could do is head it back into the middle and it was broken up there by Jimenez. He's been all over the field for Louisville early. Right idea by Prentice there, trying to get it into the path of Rodriguez. Unfortunately, it just hits a little bit behind the ball and doesn't get the ball into the space that he needs. Hackshaw recovers well defensively and puts it out for a Louisville throw in. Here's Jimenez, gonna slide this forward, Del Piccolo on the back heel, Harris on the turn, Barbier got stuck in very well to cut that out. Crucial defensive play. It's Jimenez out wide again. Bumped into by Masoso, and it's a free kick. It's already the second foul there from Masoso, and Louisville have some good real estate for a set piece. You can see his energy coming back to Louisville and playing. Coming back to Kentucky where he played before, just that energy, but not the smartest foul. Your, guy, your, your man's facing away from the goal, back for the goal. Unfortunate, not the smartest foul. And now Louisville have a good opportunity on this free kick 20 minutes in. Right at the midway point of this first half. Let's see what they can make of it. They've been the more dangerous team tonight. Four shots and all of them have been on target. saves the ledger for Paul Blanchett. Jimenez sends this in. Blanchett is up to take it. Ball's a little high. Good grab by the keeper. Keep focus on with Tosh coming in there, but Easy pick and grab for Blanchett there. Louisville quick to win it back on the clearance. Sharpie sends it forward. Gonzalez going to throw it out of it. Clemente thought that was out of play first, though. Harris will chase this down. Should have come off Harris last, and it looks like it did. Or maybe not. Going Louisville's way. Definitely went off Harris there. Gonzalez, quick burst of pace. Gonzalez trying to roll it in. It's another corner kick coming for Lou City. Blue City Corner presented by Vi-Fi. Mogul to stand over this. Play it in short for Jimenez. Menez lets it run through. It was a dangerous ball in that was cut out by Hackshaw. It's another Vi-Fi corner coming for Lou City. 
It's a great ball by NMS here. Great brave header too by Hackshaw to come back and win that with all that traffic. Mogul delivers. Again, it's Hackshaw right in the middle to head it clear. Mogul, more driven ball this time. And out as far as Serrano. Perez. He'll slide it through. Second ball picked up by Del Piccolo. This ball thumped forward and will be out of play. This has all been positive from Lou City. Just, it's been a tough task to try to beat Paul Blanchett so far tonight. Yeah, a lot of positives come from Louisville City. The build up, creating those chances. But like we said, Oakland's one of those teams that wins tight games, one nothing. Longer it stays 0-0, I think the advantage goes to Oakland. So Louisville need to look to get a goal before halftime. Select the official match ball supplier of the USL Championship in many elite leagues throughout Europe. Visit us.select-sport.com. The latest select products, specials, and more. Select the player's choice. Our beer has to recover. We'll get just enough. And Oakland earns a throw in. Ball, but the referee is going to say there's a foul instead. A free kick will go Oakland's way right at midfield. And if you're Oakland, that's what you want from Rodriguez, battling with those center backs, trying to create that foul to give your team another advance of 40 yards. Louisville's coming out pressing, which is going to create long balls, so Rodriguez is going to have a tough night, but that's what he needs to do because now Oakland has the ball 40 yards up, and hopefully they can keep it for a little. I guess not. <laughs> they win it right back. Mogul. Gonzalez, as Serrano was making the run that Gonzalez didn't think he would make. There's a little bit of that pressure from Wilson Harris. You can see Louisville's press is working. They're creating those long balls and winning the ball back as much as they want whenever they want. It's been tough for Oakland in moments going forward. It's Gonzalez battling here with Clementa. It's been a good battle so far tonight. Clementa just keeps it in play. Jimenez. Louisville right now is winning those 50-50 balls, winning the chances of creating those empty balls that are just falling there. They're the first ones to react to it. Sharpie, a bit awkward there. Now space, Mafeka's making the run. He's wide open. Instead, the shot comes on, and Zebla eats this one up. Yeah, wrong decision there. If he picks his head up, sees Mafeka breaking in on the right, just slide it. You can see right here, first touch, pick your head up. As you can't see Mafeka in this, but he's looking to curl that back post from 23, 24 yards out. It's going to be a spectacular finish if you're going to sh shoot it from there. Reed, of course, scored on Wednesday against New Mexico. But that's what we've been saying about Oakland. They get that one chance, and look, they're already breaking a three on two. Fortunate wrong decision, but that's twice now where maybe if they make a different decision, it could be one nothing Oakland with as many chances as Louisville did have in the first 28, 30 minutes. Just the third shot of the game for the Oakland Roots. Louisville already have five with four of them on target. And three of them possibly being goals. Great opportunities. 
Here's Jimenez again. Lopped it forward, it was just behind Serrano and calmly headed back to Blanchett. way. Talking with Noah Delgado this week, we asked him about consistency. It seems so many teams across the league with so much parity in the league this year. It's been a lot of up and down results for many teams. And even though this Oakland team has just one loss over their last eight games, Noah Delgado is saying, thinks this team still has a little bit more to give in that regard. He says he'd like to see maybe a few more home wins. As we mentioned, their road form has been fantastic. Seven of their 11 wins have been on the road. Now in this run for the season, and they're still in this spot come the end of the season, they'll be playing a home playoff game. Yeah, maybe they want that road playoff game the way they're <laughs> playing on the road, but. Don't tell the fans that. Yeah, uh-oh. Almost a giveaway. Hackshaw able to recover okay, though, for Oakland. Get this out of the corner now. Blanchett just getting caught there. Trying to play a little too cute sometimes. You just have to click it long. I know it feels like you're going long every time with the press, but you're away from home. You're 30 minutes in, 0-0 zero, zero at Louisville. Just clear that ball. You don't want the Louisville to get a nice, easy, cheap goal right before half of what you've done this whole 30 minutes. Keep it in a clean sheet. Cross sent in, too tall for Gonzalez. So skip all the way out of play. Welcome to the fans watching this game on My TV 58, the official broadcast home for Louisville City FC. Hello to those of you watching on ESPN Plus as well. Harris, his pass off the mark. Maybe take one or too many two touches there if you could play him a little sooner. That's Chance. the relationship. Chance for Reed now coming back the other way. Slips it through. Rodriguez couldn't get it cleanly. They're able to set their shape defensively now. This is the first time we see Oakland get the ball in Louisville's half and kind of keep it. Cross coming in, and again cleared. Out wide for Diaz. Cross whipped in and quickly cleared. Winder. The fine width with Gonzalez. Gonzalez from run right at this back line. Ends up working out here for Lou City. Sharpie. it in behind, skipping towards the end line. It'll stay in play as the cross comes in. Clementa taking no chances there. When in doubt, knock it out, right? Yeah, that's an unbelievable ball. That's where you want the ball as a forward. Harris needs to get behind the defender, make that near post run. He's too, he's too far away from the goal if, you can, if we see a replay of it. He makes the run, but he's like five yards off of the near post. If he's breaking that run right towards the near post, he has an easy tap in. Great ball. Instead, it's another Vi Fi corner kick coming for Louisville City.
Mogul delivers all the way to the back post. Punched away by Blanchett. Serrano got his head to it. He'll win the race to this. Mogul lofting this in and spending right towards Blanchett. See in the last 10 minutes, Oakland now getting more of the ball. Louisville maybe getting a little tired coming into halftime. Maybe their plan was press first 25, 30 minutes, see what's up. But now you can see Oakland getting the ball, retaining it. And this is the time where they get to hopefully not go long because you get the rest when you have the ball. Let the ball do the work. Sharpie, long over the top. Gonzalez as well, contesting with Clementa. Gonzalez, Clementa did a great job getting back defensively and put the block in. Gonzalez does unbelievable in the air to win that, bring it down. Maybe if he could pull the trigger a little quicker, looks like he's taking too many touches. Once you create that space by the defender, have a strike. Don't give him that opportunity to get now back even with you and block your shot like he just did. been a bit of a handful on that left side for Oakland so far. Talking with Noah Delgado this week, he said he's still kind of getting adjusted to life in a new country. Last played for Harborview in his home country of Jamaica. He said it's been cool to take him around to some of the people in the Jamaican community, whether it be restaurants or other people out in Oakland. He said there's a good Jamaican community there in the East Bay. And that makes them feel a little bit more at home. Yeah, the more comfortable you are with your team and your surroundings, the better you're going to get out of him. So, Two goals and an assist so far this year. Mafeka couldn't turn the corner. Here's Gonzalez as the outlet man again. Ahead for Harris. Coming right at Hackshaw. Harris weaving. Harris onto his left foot. It's another save for Paul Blanchett. Like the confidence from Harris there, taking on the defender. Not the most dangerous shot, but you like the confidence. This is what you want to see out of Harris as he's setting him up, cuts him back. He wants that on his left foot. Unfortunate not to be as dangerous. A little wide with that touch there, but good save on Blanchett. And then just that confidence of Harris just being able to do that. It's a foul against Rodriguez. We'll get on with it quick. A few minutes here before halftime. Gonzalez. There's Winder back for Del Piccolo. Looking for the fancy pass. Didn't quite come off. It's a foul. It'll be a free kick for Oakland. teams coming into play tonight conceding just 28 goals this is the 26th match for Louisville and for Oakland a good defensive record on both sides we shouldn't be too shocked that there's still no score yeah with the amount of clean sheets both these keepers have together not sure if we were going to see a high scoring game for Louisville, just one home win in their last five games. That is something they definitely say want to correct and probably need to correct as well. They need to make this place a fortress. Yeah, when I was playing in the league with Louisville, I don't think I've ever even heard of a stat like that. Maybe one of it, one in two games they've won one, but one in five, that's not Louisville. But 
like we said, Cruz will get them going. Louisville's been in the league so many years. They know what they need to do. They have experience from Del Piccolo, Tosh, guys on the team that know what it's going to take to get them into the playoffs and hopefully get a home playoff game. They made the playoffs every year. They've been in the conference final every year as well. They know what it takes. Serrano wins this back and cuts it back for Del Piccolo. Trying to chip it forward. Didn't quite come off there for Lou City. And it looks like sometimes Louisville just trying to force it too much because they're not scoring the goals that they want. They're not, they are creating chances, but they could just be patient there, keep the ball. Unfortunately, they're just trying to force it, it looks like, and it's causing unnecessary turnovers. did talk about the last five or so games they've been creating a few more opportunities than they were maybe in the six games previous to that scoring multiple goals against RGV they scored three at Tulsa two in the win against Indy so when they've needed to score they've been able to find some goals but tonight against this Oakland back line it has been a tough task Blanchett coming up with some great saves in the first five ten minutes which if Louisville City puts those goals away, you never know what the score could have been. But this is what Oakland wants, 0-0 going into half. Get that confidence, maybe squeak one in the second half, walk out of here with a one nothing win. It's been the Oakland way as of late. Win those tight games. Five wins over their last eight. Just one loss. Mogul. Here's Jimenez lifting the cross in. It's a free header. And Gonzalez down to his knees. He can't believe he missed that chance. He's going to want that back. You see he's frustrated with himself. Head it down. You've always taught as a forward, head the ball down as it's coming in. It's a great ball. Touch out of your feet. Big touch. Serve. Just needs to head this down on target. Never know what could happen after that, but you can see he's frustrated. You know he has that chance, and he knows he wants that back. Just missing that opportunity. Just one goal this year for Jorge Gonzalez. Trying to get things going on the right track for this Louisville attack. out wide again. Gonzalez contesting with Clementa. Three says that's clean. Warren gets back to his feet. It's Wilson Harris. Harris muscling his way forward. Wasn't going to get by Clementa and Hackshaw. Yeah, it's going to be tough trying to split those two defenders right there, but the right idea, unfortunately, maybe if he can get a little toe poke in there to set off the keeper so he's not expecting it, but Good, good win from Louisville, good ball, good turn by Harris. Unfortunately not to get something off that. Danny Cruz still looking for that breakthrough. Down is Perez, free kick, Lou City. Another one of those fouls that he doesn't might need to do. Now you get Louisville to set up on a dangerous free kick right before halftime. And if you're Louisville, you want to try to capitalize on this. A fifth third free kick. Charleston has gotten a goal against Memphis. Memphis. Charleston in the two spaces above Blue City coming into play tonight. Mogul 
Liverpool will deliver. Not enough height on the cross. Final minute of this first half. We'll see how much stoppage time the referee would like to add as well. Piccolo steps in, and here's Serrano. And some space in the middle, instead goes out wide. Service, Hackshaw's there to clear it. It's hit from distance. Bouncing out of play, as Harris was in an offside position anyway. Yeah, Serrano had a lot of space in front of him, tried to commit defenders. Passes out wide a little too soon. He can keep driving in the middle, maybe get a shot off or a little slip ball to Harris, but just looks like Louisville's running out of options. They're trying to, there's not that one guy that's gonna grab the ball and create that chance and score that goal. They need to find that, hopefully, in the next three minutes, but definitely in the second half. Four minutes of stoppage time added on at the end of this first half. Serrano chips it over the top. It's Barbier to cut it out. Forward, Winder keeps it moving. Trying to connect with Gonzalez. Now it's Serrano who hit it. It's Harris blocked down. Jimenez attacks it. Moves it out wide for Wilson Harris. It's still available. There are appeals for handball. Jimenez lifts it in again. Blanchett. This one ends up in the back of the net. What is the decision? This might be a goal for Louisville City. Two players down in the box. I don't know. I think it's a goal. What a clear decision from the referee. Blanchette is down, writhing in pain. Looks like the goal has been given, though. Celebrations are on for Lou City. Yeah. That They're counting it, but when you see usually when a keeper goes up for the ball and gets hit, usually the ref calls it, but looks like the refs let it play it out there. I'd love to see the replay. Looks like Gonzalez was up contesting for that. Let's try to diagnose this again. It's a great ball in by Jimenez. That's a 50-50 ball, I think. I think the ref's done well there not to call that. Looks like Gonzalez maybe got the last touch. This will be the best look. Man, you see him connect with his arm. That's, yeah. that's the thing that I think if you're an Oakland fan, you'll feel hard done by. Danny Cruz just saying that's a, that's we'll a contested <laughs> ball. We'll take it, and if you're Louisville City, this is what you wanted going into halftime, late goal. Now Oakland's played 48 minutes of great soccer. Keepers come up with big saves. You've blocked plenty of shots. You're thinking you're going into halftime at 0-0 with a lot of confidence. Now you're going in one nothing. Chet back on his feet. I guess we'll see where they restart this. If Blanchett's going to kick this, it's going to be no goal. If they start it at midfield, what's the decision? There is confusion here. It looks like this is not going to be a goal. So this is no goal after all of that. Blanchette has a free kick and no goal. Danny Cruz cannot believe it. I didn't even, I didn't even see him call the foul. 
You see the contact there. Yeah. yeah, it does obstruct him catching the ball. So didn't see that in the first one. He does come through the arm where he would catch the ball. So it is actually, maybe he had some VAR in that. <laughs> Maybe getting some help from his AR on that far side as well, but back to nil-nil. So all the smoke, the fireworks, the pyrotechnics. Yeah, no, don't worry about what run. I just said. <laughs> Two minutes ago, Oakland, you're going in. Hopefully 0-0. Zero, zero. Confidence is high, opposite of what I just said. But if you're Louisville, you don't want to get frustrated. You're creating those chances. You just need one of them to fall in. Don't get frustrated. Start playing outside of your comfort zone and doing things that you normally don't do because then that's when counters happen and that's when Oakland could be dangerous to score one. Kind of an interesting end to this first half now. Everybody in the stadium, including us, thinking that was a given goal. But in the end, it's a foul. Touched out of play. Wonder how many minutes he's going to add here. Well past the minimum of four at this point. Barbier. Diaz. The cross comes in. Rodriguez scores. And Oakland is the team that will take the lead at halftime. The disallowed goal and the Roots now lead. What a turn of events. Wow, what a minute we have here. Goal at the one end. And then like we've said, Oakland just needs that one chance, that one opportunity. Puts, finds the ball in Rodriguez's head and what's he gonna do with it? Put it in the back of the net. And you can see the emotion. Good long ball. Great touch here, sets it up. Diaz with a whip in over the defender. Both Rodriguez finding the most important spot in the box in between defenders, find space. And that's all he's done and he's headed it down. What a goal. Oakland going into half, one nothing. And the career year continues for Johnny Rodriguez. Had scored just four combined goals in 2022 and 2021. This year, now up to 10 goals, double digit for Johnny Rodriguez. The 24 year old from Fresno just continuing to get it done. And now, what I said two minutes ago about Louisville going in halftime, winning 1 0. Now, Oakland's going in with an abundance of confidence. And now, for Louisville, you don't want to get frustrated like we said. It's one goal. It's about to be halftime. Go. We don't need to reinvent everything. You've been controlling this game for the first 45, 50 minutes. Unfortunate not to get a goal. But you know what you have to do. You have to come out here in the second half, get a goal, and hopefully three points. Uh, we have reached halftime here from Louisville. Fans, I don't think very pleased, but that was a wild end of the first half. Wild last two minutes. Unbelievable. Johnny Rodriguez, he gets the goal, and it is Oakland who has the lead going into halftime. Louisville thought they were the team going into the half with the lead. Instead, it's the roadside, the resilient bunch from Oakland. Halftime is presented by Breeze Airways. It's Louisville City nil, it's Oakland Roots one. It's that time of year again, the Kentucky State Fair. Where will you go first? Indulge in some fair food? Jam out during the free concert series? Or just hang out with Fair Bear? Whatever you do, the fair is the perfect place to close out the summer. But sometimes weather can be unexpected. So to ensure you stay safe, they call Mark at WDRB to give the official green light for fun at the fair. WDRB Weather, the source. Commonwealth Credit Union is growing and hiring. If you have a passion to help others, come check us out. Our mission is to better lives in the communities we serve through financial products and services, leading edge technology, and a commitment to treat every person with respect. If you'd like to join our team, visit our website to learn more about our extraordinary culture, pay, benefits, and the many more reasons we are voted the best place to work in Kentucky. 
Commonwealth Credit Union. Here, we see you differently. Choose your character. Enoch Mushigalusa. Ray Serrano. Manny Perez. Wes Sharpie. It's game time. Watch Louisville City FC take on Colorado Springs, September 2nd at 9 on WBKI. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Kroger, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Boost by Kroger Plus is more than worth it. Give it to me, I'm worth it. With two times fuel points and free delivery, you can save up to $1,000 per year. Try Boost free for 30 days. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Halftime is presented to you by Breeze Airways. Nice, new, and nonstop. That's the Breeze way. Through 45 minutes here from Lynn Family Stadium, Loose City, and the Oakland Roots for the first time ever. As we've been talking about through the first 45 minutes, this Louisville City side, they're right in the middle of the playoff picture as opposed to being at the top, which is where they've been in, in past seasons. Yeah, and they're used to being in that top one, top two position. So this is a new thing, and it's going to be interesting to see how they come together now with a couple games left in the season, what they're going to be battling for, home playoff game, making the playoffs, or what's going to happen at the end. It's pretty rare that both teams on the field tonight have made the playoffs every single year. And as we look at, of course, the history, they have eight losses already. Another loss that would equal their total from 16 and 18, although they did win it in 2018. Yeah, and if you're in Louisville, you've been in the league, you know what you need to do to make playoffs, what you need to do to get that home playoff game. So I could see them turning it around, bringing these last couple games up and just moving up to be where Louisville usually is. And as for the Oakland Roots, They've snuck into the playoffs, it's felt like, the last couple of years. This year, they're not sneaking up on anybody. Yeah, when I was playing for San Diego, we played them the last game. They snuck into the playoffs, and now you can just tell in the third, fourth year that they're playing, they're, they're earning their spot, and they deserve to be in the third place after what they've played. Yeah, they have moved up the standings, no doubt, and they have won a playoff game in each of their first two seasons and a good chance to maybe do it a third time. Yeah, definitely. The way they're playing now and the way that they've been playing to crawl up that table is very very good chance of them getting even a home playoff game. We will see if they can get a result on the road here tonight. Halftime here from Louisville and Lynn Family Stadium. The second half is coming up. Let's be honest, most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. Come to a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals.
halftime here from Louisville, Kentucky is presented to you by Breeze Airways. Nice, new, and nonstop. That's the Breeze way. 1-0 to Oakland at the break as we look at what's going on around the USL Championship and some really unfortunate news this week about San Diego Loyal, and one of your former clubs, but they will transition the franchise rights held to a new market. This is the last year for Loyal. Yeah, and that's always tough to see a team, a team that I played for just not transitioning out and just not being a team next year. It's always tough. And of course, it will be a pretty cool night in Sacramento going back to Hughes Stadium. It's a big game between Sac Republic and Orange County, part of a big night of action across the USL Championship. But there are some games in action now as there are 11 games across the board here tonight. And this is what it looks like. Is there a score that sticks out to you? A lot of road teams winning, yep. which is like tonight, one nothing Oakland. But I mean, Indy 11 at home losing to Loudon is not what you want to see if you're an Indy fan. And that was a first minute goal by Tommy Williamson for Loudon United. And San Diego going on the road to RGV as well tonight. As for what is to come, some more action later on this night, and then we'll get into tomorrow's game between Birmingham and Detroit. San Antonio-Pittsburgh game could be a fun one. Yeah, that'll be a good game. Pittsburgh always a tough team to win, or come and get three points off of going into San Antonio where not many teams come out of three points. Best road team, or pardon me, home team in the Western Conference. And how about Monterey Bay? They could desperately use some, a win tonight. Yeah, they need to pick up, start picking up some points now, but I don't think they've won in the last month. But huge game against Colorado, which is not an easy task. Going to be a tough one there for Monterey to come out there with three points. They're at home in Seaside. We'll see what they can do here tonight. And tomorrow, it's Birmingham against Detroit City, a battle at the bottom of the Eastern Conference playoff picture. It is halftime here from Louisville. And Oakland is the team out in front against the run of play. Will there be a comeback for the home side? The second half is coming up next. Did you know taking care of your teeth and gums helps control blood sugar levels? A healthy smile means a healthier you. We can help you get there. Mortensen Family Dental. Schedule online at mortensendental.com. Did you know taking care of your teeth and gums helps lower your risk of heart attack? A healthy smile means a healthier you. We can help you get there. Mortensen Family Dental. Schedule online at mortensendental.com. Getting set for the second 45 minutes of action tonight from Louisville, Kentucky. 1-0 to the Oakland Roots. We'll see if they can close things out come the second 45 minutes. Let's take a look at tonight's halftime highlights. And early on, it was all loose city. Paul Blanchett really worked in the opening stages. We'll start in the fifth minute. And Louisville trying to start this game off with a quick goal. Gonzalez was amongst it, and so was Winder. Yeah, great give and go right there. Unfortunately for Weiner, lets it run across the body. Should finish it with his right foot. Blanchett, one of his 
four saves in the early going, and then Loose City off to the races yet again. And another huge double save here. There's one, there's two, and like we said, Louisville needed to finish those opportunities because what would happen? In the 42nd minute, he would keep knocking on the door. Oscar Jimenez sending this cross in, and boy, Gonzalez, he just missed it. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, and you see the frustration, just needs to head it down, put it on target. And some controversy as Jimenez sends this ball in. It ends up in the back of the net. We didn't know that there was a whistle blown, but that was considered a foul. Yeah, and it is a foul. You can see him coming through the keeper's arm when he's trying to catch it. So well done by the referee there. But you let Oakland in the game. Look what happens. They go down. They score a goal. Barbier, Diaz, Rodriguez, 1-0. And this is how you head a ball into the net. Head it down on frame. Never know what happens. 1-0 Oakland. Tenth goal of the season for Johnny Rodriguez. Fourth assist on the season for Memo Diaz. And he wheels off in celebration. Let's take a look at the first half stats brought to you by Pave Masters. Everything was going Louisville's way until it wasn't. Yeah, the only thing that matters on there is the goals, one nothing. Unfortunately for Louisville, they have nine shots, five on target. They have the possession. Unfortunate not to finish their opportunities because it would be a different game in the first five, 10 minutes. Well, this is a bit of a fun story from this past week in Oakland. That's Tom Holland, that's Zendaya, that's some star power. They showed up to a school in Zendaya's hometown of Oakland on Friday for an event with nonprofit basketball organization Hoop Bus. And Tom Holland showing off the Oakland Roots colors. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, and Oakland always is huge with the community, huge with the people that are from there, and it's just a good thing to see from Oakland. It looks like a fun club, fun environment to be around. And that's one of the best crests in the USL. There's yeah. no doubt in my mind. And I know Jack Harlow's been known to spend some time in the stands here at Lynn Family Stadium. I don't know if he's in town tonight or not, but he's a big fan of Blue City. Some, some star power on both sides as the teams come back out for the second half with Corey Herzog. I'm Josh Eastern. Appreciate you being with us here tonight. And Oakland trying to do the road double this week, looking for their sixth straight road win, which is one of the most impressive stats in this whole season. And you know this next 45, Oakland knows what Louisville's going to throw at them. Louisville's going to come out here thinking they're up one nothing, heading into halftime. Unfortunately, no goal. Then the, the switch flips, and it's one nothing Oakland. But... You know Cruz in that halftime was talking to the Louisville. Hey, calm down. We don't need to change it. We've had our opportunities. Now let's finish it. Once we get one, we'll get two. And on the other side, if you're Oakland, weather the storm. You know they're going to come out, like I said, on fire. Just weather the storm like you did. Have some big saves. Have some guys step up and just weather the storm like you said. about set for the second 45 minutes. Waiting on the whistle here from our referee. Oakland unbeaten their last 15 games when they have a halftime lead, 13 wins and two draws. And they get the job done tonight against a Louisville side that has five losses when trailing at halftime this season. small delay before we get this second half underway it's been a good one so far some controversy at the end of that first half I'm pretty sure Louisville will be rearing and ready to go for the second 45 minutes once we get the whistle just about ready to go as we just wait for that whistle. And now we are ready. Second 45 minutes, Oakland and Louisville, the first ever matchup between these two sides. It's been a cagey affair at times. It's gone back and forth. 
Louisville thought they had a goal, but Oakland was the one to put it up on the board. Let's see what this second half brings. That's a foul. It'll be a free kick going Louisville's direction. subs from either side coming into this second half. To the players on the field to try to figure it out. Here's Mafeka. Prentice. Got caught there on the ball. Sit back for Blanchett, and he sends it away. It's a pattern Oakland got into quite a bit in that first half, going over the top. Yeah, and if they're going to keep going long there, you need somebody to battle with the defenders of Louisville just to maybe get a free kick. Don't let them win those easy headers and be able to knock it down. Maybe you could pick up the 50-50 ball that's getting knocked down from you battling. Rodriguez did it a couple times in the first half, earned a foul, gave his team an advance of 40 yards. And that's what you want to see. Sharpie. This ball played out wide. On the way to the end line, Perez for Serrano. He just couldn't lunge in for it and keep it. Quickly won back yet again. Mogul. Winder. Just too late on the pass there for Serrano. Sent away. That's what you want from Rodriguez right there. Winning those balls, keeping the ball unbelievable by him right here. And now Reed. Avon Reed going it all by himself. Reed plays the square ball. Now the cross to the backside comes through. Rodriguez saved. Zemla, big stop. Was that a handball? Try the acrobatic overhead kick. It's out for a throw in. And that play started with Rodriguez holding it up. Gets a bit, another great ball from Diaz. Defender maybe just heads this out for a corner but tries to kick it. Great strike, even better save, but is that a, mm, is that a handball? That's tough if, if you're, it's in an unnatural yeah. position when you're trying to contort your body for like sure. that. It might be in a natural position with a bike, but that's a tough one right there. You can see it going both ways. There's Masoso. Back in his old stomping grounds here. It's a rule out of play. that Indy 11 score was 1-0 when we told you about it at halftime. It's now 2-1 to Indy 11 as this ball bounces out of play. It'll be a Wi-Fi corner kick coming for Lou City. San Diego has scored two first half goals against RGV as well. Trying to keep pace with Oakland here tonight is San Diego. corner kick. Jimenez serves. Lanchette through traffic, punches it away. Taken on the volley and skied into the stands. Always tough to hit those, but when you do and it goes in, that's his dream goal, but unfortunate, good opportunity. Those are ones you stay after practice for, right? Yeah. You just hit as many of those as you can. Yeah. Those are the goals you dream about. Just goes off the shin guard there. Back shot just gets this away. Prentice will keep it in. 
Serrano, Perez, Del Piccolo, back for Serrano. His cross well off the mark, just couldn't get out from his feet. And like we said in the first half, you can just see they get to the right places. It's just the final touch, the final pass, the final chance to actually get the goal or create that for the goal is just not there from Louisville tonight. And that might be the most frustrating part for Louisville because the build-up's there, the runs are there. It's just that final touch or final pass that's really letting them down. there against Perez. He may have gone down easy for crowds liking. And Chet sends it away. Delgado wanted the foul, and he gets one now. You can see Louisville starting to get the frustrations. You want to keep your head, it's still 40, 40 minutes to play. All you need is one goal and the game has changed, but don't get frustrated, here we go. Turned over, it's Winder. Getting pulled back by Tarek Morad, and this might be the game's first yellow card. Indeed it is, he knew what he was doing there. Yeah, you see it way back there, smart by him. He knows what he's trying to do. He got beat, got the ball stolen off, great professional foul, smart play. Little tricky with the ball, and it's just a smart veteran play right there. But if you're Widener, you don't want that frustration coming out. You don't want to pick up a yellow two. Fortunate for him, he hasn't. Yellow card presented by World of Beer. Chance to stand over a dead ball. Jimenez and Mogul Jr. Fifth, third, free kick. They can whip this right behind the back four right there. Never know what could happen. This is Jimenez, it's an in-swinger, headed away. Del Piccolo heads it back into the mixer. Hackshaw into the air, and Blanchette is there to claim it. A little somersault from the goalkeeper as well. Crowd's getting tired of seeing him rolling around, wasting some time. He's probably gonna, if they're up one nothing in the last couple minutes, probably gonna have some fun with that. Time wasting. Yeah. Gamesmanship, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Oakland on the move yet again. It's Memo Diaz directing traffic. Down on the far side by Winder. Free kick to the roots. Still have a long way to go in this game, well over a half hour, but you can start to almost feel it from an Oakland perspective that as the minutes tick on and on, they feel more confident in these tight games and with their advantage, the crowd's getting a little antsy as well. Sometimes as a home team, that can play against you. For sure, and you can see the frustration not only from the players on the field, but from the fans. So if you're Louisville, you just want to control that frustration. 
Turned over. Is this an opportunity? It's a deflected shot, and it's out of play. Miscontrolled there, playing out of the back by Clementa. Oh, are they saying goal kick? Looks like that was uh, definitely went off. Pretty obvious it was deflected. And you can see Oakland's defenders and keepers. Clementa just wants the ball played back to his feet. No doubt about it. Yeah. That's a massive deflection. Not sure what the ref's looking at there. Andy Cruz has a right to be mad about this one. Yeah, any three of those refs should be able to see that. Barbier. Off the mark looking for Johnny Rodriguez. Serrano. Again, that's the second time he has missed it across into the stands in this second half. Yeah, you can see the frustration again, like we said. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Just that last, a great ball in behind. He, if he can just pick up his head, sees the defender already biting for the cross, just cut it back. But you can see they're just trying to force it, and you don't want to force it. You just want it to happen and create it yourself. Danny Cruz talked about how tough this Oakland team is to beat when they get that first goal, when they lead. Stats tell a similar story. Ten wins, four draws this season when they score that opening goal. It's ten of their 11 wins have come when they've scored first. Come playoff time, boy, that can be very a real ace for the Oakland Roots. Very dangerous if you're good at winning close games. Not only scoring first, but if it's a 0-0 game, and it's coming in late and you're winning those games, those are the types that, like we said, they're third place for a reason in the Western Conference. And that's the main reason right there. Here's Barbier. Had the run of Reed and said it's Prentice. That's well, that's well done by Oakland. Don't force him. Maybe on the other side, Louisville's the ones forcing those balls in. Oakland's doing well, just keeping the ball, letting Louisville chase. You get to rest when you have the ball. This is where Oakland now gets the ball, relax. Louisville's the one using all their energy up right now. Forty-seven percent of the ball for Oakland, but that's a bad giveaway there. Like wholesale changes coming in a moment here for Louisville. Lancaster, Tellefson, Powell's all look like they are ready to come on. Andy Cruz is not holding anything back, nor should he. Yeah, it's a line change coming up. In the meantime, a player down. Looks like Ownby as well. It's four changes. It's more than a line change. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they'll pick. Looks like Del Piccolo limping off. Not sure if it's a cramp. Hopefully that's not as serious as it looks and hopefully it's just a cramp from him. It's been major injuries this season for this Lou City side. Ownby comes on, will be his first game since that 1-1 draw against Charleston. Looks like he is ready to come on. First player off, Paolo Do Piccolo. With the captain's armband on. Looks like Gonzalez will be coming off. Ray Serrano will be coming off. And I would assume Wilson Harris would be the other one, but we'll see. And all of these are Fortna substitutions. Right at the hour mark. Not 
often we have seen two strikers playing together, the likes of Lancaster and Powell's together, two of the three playing together, how, however you want to slice it. But that's what Danny Cruz wants to do here. Quite a few crosses in this game with two now target forwards up there. Might play into their hands. Yeah, and you can see in the last couple minutes, they've been getting the ball wide. Unfortunate not to get the crosses in, but he's bringing out those players, and you know Ombi's going to be out wide. He's going to get those crosses. He's a fast player, veteran in this league. Looks like Harris is staying on for now. I wonder if Lancaster hasn't checked on as of yet. Seventeen crosses in this game so far for this Loose City side. Perez. There's Mogul. Lancaster has not come onto the field yet. We did see him with his jersey on, so might see him in a few minutes, but right now it's still Harris and Powell's. Just those three subs initially. Tellefson. Tellefson keeps it alive, and here's Ownby. Ownby deflected cross, and this one's taken in by Blanchett. And you can already see what Cruz wants with these subs. Get, get out wide, get crosses in the box, just create something. Just create something, because if you create something, a goal could happen out of anywhere. An own goal, a tap in, anything. If you're Oakland, you don't want to start getting in this little shell with 30 minutes left, especially in Louisville. Powell's trying to get this in. It's Ownby! The two substitutes connecting right away. And another save for Paul Blanchett, the sixth of the night. And you can see the two substitutions doing what they're supposed to when they come in. Great ball. Fortunate not to get the contact, but he's got it on target. And already within two minutes of these subs coming in, you can see a change of play. You can see the opportunities that might come in the next 28 to 27 minutes. And you gotta love that from Rodriguez right there, just battling. He knows it's gonna be one of those games where the next 30 minutes he's gonna be battling two, three center backs on his own. There's five shots in this game for Oakland. And one of them count. It's Own being behind again. Harris in the middle. It's Powell's. Oh, late arriving. And he couldn't keep it on target. What an opportunity. It should be 1 1 right now with that opportunity. All he needs to do is just run through the ball, body over top. Great ball by Tosh. And what a ball by Ombi. Looks back right there, cuts it back on the ground, can't ask for a better thing. Unfortunately, just puts it over the bar. Just let your body go through. You see how he doesn't swing through with his foot. He chops at it. <laughs> Some acting at the end. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Powell's still looking for that first goal a loose city shirt and it looks like it's Wolfgang Prentice who is down and if you're Louisville City these last 25 minutes of Oakland killing the game they're gonna feel like forever but you can't get frustrated you've had like we've said many opportunities to get back in this game all you need is one of those to go in and in five minutes the game will change in the meantime we can update you on some scores after a five game losing streak El Paso has beaten Hartford by two goals to nil. Indy finished off Loudoun United, two to one. And the Rowdies, they went to Miami and got a two nil win in the Battle of Florida. Charleston still leading Memphis by a goal to nil. And San Diego up two nil over RGV. A couple more games starting at nine o'clock Eastern. Three more at 10 and 10.30. Back 
to play as Blanchett will send this away. I'm gonna call it here. I think there's gonna be a lot of stoppage time. We got a decent 20. amount in the first half. <laughs> and we're only about 20 minutes in and I feel like it could already be at four right now. And if Oakland keeps with this one nothing lead, they're gonna try to kill the game and make this as slow as possible. Jimenez serves. Now Perez, once again, the heads go up. It's headed away as far as Tellefson. Own B on the turn. Winder as it blocked. Tellefson putting in a dangerous area. It's cleared away again. And you can see all of Oakland's 11 players behind the 30 yard line. And this could be the reason why they've won a lot of close games. They defend as a team. It's very hard to break down 11 inside 30 yards. B just keeps in play. Tellefson, cleared away. Winder, a ball for own beat. Back for Tellefson. Off the mark looking for Powell's. Sharpie. It's Mogul who will take this from distance. Let's give another save to Paul Blanchett. Why not? Yeah, it's a good strike. Good opportunity, you want to see that because then that's going to force defenders to step out on these long shots where maybe next time you can slip it in to an Ombi or Harris or a Lancaster that might be coming in later in the game. Hearing Oakland is preparing some subs. And I think we're going to get them now. Three players coming on. Jesse Elsa, Daniel, Daniel Denasiano. Been off here, hopefully. There's nothing serious, just some cramps. Two games in four days, five days, a lot of travel in between. These are all Fortna substitutions. So Daniel, of course, the acquisition this season from Hartford with Eduardo Rito going the other way. One of my played for Hartford last year. One of my favorite players that I was up in Hartford for. Didn't get as much time as I thought he should last year, but I will tell you this, he is the, was the hardest working player on the practice field every single day. And he's getting rewarded now at Oakland. Saw him start a couple games. Has three goals, I think, on the season. Three goals, two assists. Just one of those crafty midfield players that not scared to take somebody on, creates it for his other teams too. There's another one of your former teammates yeah. coming off. He's Literally active. like for like. Yeah. Literally like for like. Lefeco, top one of the top midfielders in the league. Napo Masoso coming off. His return to Louisville goes just about 70 minutes tonight. Hackshaw. Johnny Rodriguez. Powell's now taken off the ball. Clementa. Some pressure from Louisville City. Off the mark, and it's Wilson Harris. Harris picking out OB. He scores. Brian OB off the bench and onto the score sheet. And Lou City is finally back level. And you can see it, the relief in everybody there, even the fans. Not the greatest touch by Ombi. Don't think he meant to flick it up, but he's smart enough. He's crafty enough to figure it out, hit it behind the goalie. Great pressure from Ombi right there to create the turnover. Harris picks up his head. Ombi 
Not sure if he's able to finish first time, second time. Touch comes up, great header, and it's 1-1. Great 20 minutes left in this game. Great ball by Harris right there. Brave header too. A celebration on in Louisville as they finally are back level. That goal presented by Kentucky Lottery. Fueling imagination, funding education. Kentucky Lottery for Ownby, his first goal since May. Got two goals in the opening couple of games of the season. Hasn't scored since, but finally back on the score sheet. That is a big one for Lou Cities. They are finally back level, and now can they go on and find another? These subs have really brought some good energy onto the field. 100%, you can just see now the relief from the Louisville players, the celebrating, the, the camaraderie that just comes with a goal. And now you have the crowd back in it. They're not booing now, they're cheering. So they're behind you. So let's see if Louisville City can get another one. Or can Oakland do what they've done the last, win a close game? Maybe come out of here with a draw or maybe even sneak three points. That would be a set piece coming. And a big opportunity for Louisville City. It's a big wall. Yeah, Barbier standing right in the middle of it. As Mogul and Jimenez stand around this. A fifth third free kick. This is Mogul! That's a strong stop there by Blanchett. Great strike by Mogul Jr. Great strike, keeps it on target. Unfortunate, right down the middle, puts it out a little wider. Could be 2-1 Louisville, but great strike, good free kick. But you can see the level, Widener stepping up in the midfield, pressing. This is gonna be a fun 15 minutes. Racing Louisville fans, the next home match is on Saturday, September 2nd at 7.30 p.m. against the Portland Thorns. Come out to Lynn Family Stadium to support your Racing Louisville FC. Tickets are on sale now at racingloufc.com slash tickets. They are on the road at Gotham tomorrow as Manny Perez gets back to his feet. Sounds like there will be a substitution. It is Kyle Adams coming on. That would be the end of the day for Manny Perez. Just recently acquired from San Diego. And Enoch Mushigalusa going the other way. A Fortnite substitution. Given away, Diaz recovered well. Finds Rodriguez. Good job to find the space, Barbier. Down the line, Reed chops it back. Trayvon Reed trying to serve it into the middle. Donaciano keeps it alive, and Morad. Final 15 here from Louisville. And for handball as Rodriguez keeps it moving. It's Barbier. Trayvon Reed deflecting over the bar. Big block there as Semla came off his line. Corner kick roots. Unbelievable block. And you can see Oakland now building it back up like they were in the first half. Good build up, great ball, great run. Unfortunate to get it blocked, but this is what you want to see from Oakland reacting to that goal. Great block. Corner kick. I think they want it on the other side. 
First corner kick of the night for Oakland. Diaz finally ready to serve. Cedeno standing around it as well. It'll be Diaz to the near post. Got the flick. Failed clearance. Barbier to the back post. Sharpie, corner kick, Oakland. Nervy moments there defensively for Lou City. It's a great ball and a great run by Clementa at the near post off that corner. Unfortunate not to get the flick, but good play right there. corner kick put in a good area Adams heads it away Reed delivers again here comes the shot blocked down my hack shot was in acres of space there yeah I think Barbier could head that back across instead of going for the volley he can head that back across those teammates making that run but he chose to try to go for the glory and hit it in Here's Powell's, right through the middle for Harris. He'll move it off to the far side. Chance coming here for Luce City, blocked down as Tellefson was coming forward. All of a sudden, this game opening up. Cedeno. All the way, and this will trickle out of play. Well, fans head to Twitter to vote on tonight's Lynn Family Sports Vision and Training Man of the Match. Poll will be open for the next 10 minutes. Vote now at twitter.com slash city or x.com slash city. Whatever works. Stays in play. Adams, long clearance. Oakland preparing a sub. I'm hearing Omar Palaez will be coming on. He scored in the game against New Mexico on Wednesday. Space to run into again. Reed. Now cuts it in, Trayvon Reed. Mogul, big defensive play. No foul, play on. If Reed, Reed was in a ton of space. If he takes those touches towards the goal though, he'd have a better angle at that last opportunity to take the shot instead of cutting it back. He's taking those big touches just too far away from the goal, not getting in the center of the field quick enough. Here comes Ombi right through the middle. You can see Ombi just wanting the ball, wanting to create this, hopefully three points for his team, and you can just see it in him. A veteran. Knocked it out of play. That's a throw in on the far side. Still has the same haircut as when we played way back. Him and Paul Blanchett are matching tonight. <laughs> and more Palaez, here is that sub. Coming on for Johnny Rodriguez. Tonight's goal scorer for Oakland. Fortnut substitution. Johnny Rodriguez scoring his 10th goal. This completely against the run of play after a disallowed goal. Came at the perfect time for Oakland. Yeah, he's done a w great job here just heading it down, getting on target. But not only are we going to talk about the goal, but we're going to talk about the work rate that he did today. Battling those center, center backs of Louisville all game, 1v1, bringing the ball down and just holding it up for the guys for Oakland. And obviously as a forward, you want to score your goals, but... He's done so well, just holding up the ball and creating those. Sharpie sends it away. Center 
cornerback finding himself in a shooting position. <laughs> Looks like a yellow card has been issued. I think Oakland wants that foul on Ombi jumping into the back. But if you're Oakland, like we've said to Louisville the whole game, don't get frustrated. You don't want to pick up a cheap yellow and then in five minutes you do another yellow and it's a red card. You want to play smart. was given to. Sharpie steps forward again. He won too many touches, ran right into Morad. Beer cuts it out. Reed is fouled. Twenty-three ticket packages are available now. Loose City's next home match is on September 16th at 7.30. Bring your family and friends to Lynn Family Stadium when the boys in purple face San Diego Loyal. Tickets are available at loosecity.com slash tickets. The yellow card was given to Neville Hackshaw. Trinidad and Tobago International. It's up a world of beer, yellow card. Head for Palaez, flag is up. Sharpie. Reed right through the middle. Palaez lays it off. Cedeno trying to get it back, but Palaez splits the double team instead. Here is Cedeno. Powell's going to get there first. He tumbles over. Big collision there at midfield on the far side. Heads it out of play, throw in coming. Substitution coming. It is the final sub of the night for Noah Delgado and Oakland. It is Ryan Herr coming on for Trayvon Reed, a Fortna sub. He doesn't know it yet, but his night is over. I think he knows it. Wasting some time. Does. <laughs> Done it plenty of times. Walk oh, to the me, other me, side. Me, it's <laughs> yeah. me? Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. He's walked clearly to the other side of the field. It looks like Tyler Gibson will be the final sub for Louisville. We saw Lancaster with a jersey on, but I guess he's not going to come in tonight. It is Tyler Gibson replacing Carlos Mogul Jr. Fortna substitution, the final one for Louisville now. Louisville will hit the road on Saturday to take on Colorado Springs. Weekend after that, they're heading to Tampa Bay. Three, and they have a slew of road games upcoming. Five of their next six away from home and not at easy places to go. Switchbacks, Rowdies, Miami, Loudoun, and New Mexico. The only home game in there is against San Diego. Doesn't get any easier there. <laughs> Huge next five, six games for Louisville, but most importantly, can they get the three points tonight?
attendance tonight. Over 10,000. Great crowd here tonight at Lynn Family Stadium. Always such a well-supported team, and why not when you're in such a great venue? And a yellow card, I believe, has been issued to Paul Blanchett. And Chet, yellow card for time wasting. World of Beer yellow card. Coming forward again is Clementa and moving this out wide. Taking off the ball. But that is a foul. You heard the whistle. Interesting call there. As a forward, I don't think that's a foul. I never want it to be because then you're Louisville's breaking, breaking there. Oh. Turning the corner, and there's Zemla stepping in. over the top, Hackshaw, got a touch on it. He does well to prevent a corner. Able to lay this off, ball whipped in. Winder just too far from his reach and out of play. Now there hasn't been a disallowed goal for Louisville, but Everything going Louisville's direction, just like the first half. That's when Oakland found their goal. 100%, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right here. Louisville's going to have that one chance to win this game, and are they going to finish it? There's going to be one great chance for Louisville, and are they going to take it by the horns and finish it and get these three points, or is it going to end 1-1? Or can Oakland sneak in a late one here? Louisville winless over their last three, a loss and two draws, just two wins over their last eight. They come, Harris for Ownby. Gibson. Gibson again. Sharpie in advanced position ahead for Ownby. Trying to cut this back. It was off Tarek Morad and out of play. Morad also making his return here to Louisville. Spent 2015 to 2017 with the club. Former teammate Brian Ownby helping him out there. I was curious if that went off his hand when Ownby slid. See it here, but good run by Ombi. See him getting into those spaces. Oh, it was the hip. That hand was up, though. Yeah, good hip no call. Blocked it. It's a Vi Fi corner kick. Referee blows his whistle here first. Nineteen shots in this game for Louisville. And they find a breakthrough, and we are to seven minutes of stoppage time as the corner comes in. Powell's up for it. It's still not gone. Gibson does well to find width. Jimenez whips it in. Good service. Falls for Ownby. Louisville asking plenty of questions here of Oakland, and they'll get a free kick. Diaz gets caught in a tough position. And a chance, or pardon me, Gomez. And now Louisville a chance to whip this ball in. Dangerous free kick here for Louisville. 
Hopefully they can capitalize on one of these. They're having their opportunities. They're getting the service that they want. Let's get ahead on it. Jimenez delivers. Powell's is up for it. It's off the post. Blanchett is able to hold on to it. He may have gotten a slight touch on it. Powell's, though, was lurking, and now Blanchett is down. Great header. Unfortunately, goes off the post. Good delivery. Keeper decides to stay in the net. He's going to be kissing that post after the game if it stays 1-1. Goalkeeper's best friend. Right off the woodwork. I'm not sure Blanchett got a touch on it. It's the first time these two teams have ever played. Though there's plenty of threads between both of these teams in terms of mostly Oakland players who have played here in Louisville in the past. And this has been a well-contested match, and it's going right down to the wire here. That's what you want between two playoff teams. Centrally. There's Owen B. He's been very active since coming off the bench. His first game since early August. And Chet hearing the Boo Birds. Flag up for offside. Free kick to Louisville. Tosh lofts it forward. Powells. Nothing doing there. And Blanchett lays down. Remember, he's on a yellow card. It's something to monitor. They have no more subs available either. And if you're Ombi or Harris, you want to be around him. He's the big guy in the box. He's going to knock it down just like he has. If Harris can find those little five yards around him, he could have a chance right here. Because they're going to keep dumping in balls. But here comes Oakland. Palaez. Palaez, oh! Oliver Zemla with an incredible stop! A game-saving stop! Wow! And you can see how frustrated he is as soon as he struck it. I thought it was going in the top corner, but what a save. Another delivery coming into the back post. What a save that was. it forward again, flicked along, and there is Zemla. We thought Blanchett, that double save, was going to be save of the week. I think he may have one up that. That could be save of the year right there. That Unbelievable. Incredible. And denied maybe a goal of the week candidate as well. A lot of stuff going on here. Barbier bouncing into the middle. All the way off to the far side. Powell's cuts it out. Throw in to Oakland. Let's take a look at this again. It's worth seeing. Unbelievable. The tip of his finger keeps Louisville in this 1-1. If Louisville can somehow get a goal in here, it's because of that. Yeah, I'd be frustrated too. <laughs> uh, you're already playing your celebration after you hit that. You just know when you hit that, it's going. But what a save. It's exactly what your top two is goalkeeper, that, uh, that outside hand, if you will. Yeah, the higher hand, you just want to, but, oh. Bouncing into the corner, flag is up for offside. 90 seconds left. Just the seventh shot of the game for Oakland. 
four of them have been on target. Goes up against the 20 shots tonight for Lou City. Own beat. Own beat. Goes right into the defender. It's a free kick for Louisville. Ryan Hur with the foul. And a great set piece opportunity now for Lou City. just connecting, creating chances off of just his work rate. Yes, it's a foul, he's earned it, but he's just moving, playing, trying to get into the spaces that are dangerous for him and his teammates, and he's done it again. Earned his team a free kick in a very dangerous spot. And if you score this free kick, you might as well go celebrate with your keeper after that save he just had. A fit third free kick right at the end here. Chet has made big saves all night long. Does he have one more potentially in store? Oscar Jimenez, Wilson Harris stand around it. This is Jimenez off the wall. Past the minimum of seven. Tellefson for Ownby. Ownby, can he get the cross in? He can, hack shot, steers it away. It's a corner kick, and this has to be it. A 5-5 corner kick. Jimenez will come over to take it. You never know how long is left. You send the goalie forward, they will yeah. not. It's Ownby, back for Jimenez. Back for Ownby, sends it in. Howells tries to head it down. It's Gibson, served out wide, fired in! A goal. The technique to keep it low, come across your body, wait for the ball to come across your body, and then get it on target far post from that angle. Unbelievable goal. What a game we've had here from that save to this 98th minute Jimenez goal. Oscar Jimenez is the hero tonight in Louisville. Here it is again. Great goal, great technique. Very tough finish to come across your body. Let the ball wait for it patiently. Good ball by Gibson to put it back into the box. And just look at this. Great goal. And you can see the relief. You can see the celebration from the coaching staff to the fans. Unbelievable. And Louisville walk away here, hopefully, with three points. That is his first goal since October of 2021. He has only scored seven career goals and he gets his first of the season. And yet we still play on. This is lofted forward. How much more time we got? Can't be much. Well past the minimum of seven. This is played out wide and headed away. And that is it. Lou City have come from behind. They have stolen three points at home and they get the job done. Two one winners. What a game. And what a save. What did we say? That save was unbelievable. Saved them. Thought we were going 1 1 into the final. Each team grabbing a point, but great goal, great save. With that Lou City win, you can head to any participating Louisville area Wendy's tomorrow to get a free small frosty. No purchase necessary. I'm in for that, and I think many of these fans are as well. What a win tonight! As Oscar Jimenez's goal is the winning goal late, late in the stoppage time.
Tonight's Lynn Family Sports Vision and Training Man of the Match, it has to be Oscar Jimenez. His first goal in over two years, and they get the job done. Well, the celebration is on. That's a tough one to take if you're Oakland. Louisville, they will take it right to the bank. What a win it was tonight. They get the job done in the end. Tonight's final score is brought to you by Gorski Law Office. It reads, Lou City 2, Oakland 1. We'll wrap things up right after this. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Kroger, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Boost by Kroger Plus is more than worth it. Give it to me, I'm worth it. With two times fuel points and free delivery, you can save up to $1,000 per year. Try Boost free for 30 days. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Game is presented to you by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety. Drama here in Louisville, Kentucky, as Lou City wins this one by two goals to one, a comeback victory. As we look back at the full time highlights, we go to the end of this first half, totally against the run of play. Oakland go 1 0 up. Yeah, and who else is it going to be for Oakland? Rodriguez with a great header, snap down. Put it in the back of the net, one nothing going into halftime. Diaz, his fourth assist, the tenth goal of the season for Johnny Rodriguez. Seventy-first minute, the substitutes making an impact and a mistake playing out of the back, and Louisville pounced on it. And Harris does well just to pick up his NC OMB all by himself. Not the best touch, but the bravery to win that header and bring it back. Great pass, great finish. The lunging header for the goal. And that is the equalizer at 1-1. And then took us all the way deep, deep into stoppage time. Both teams with some late stoppage time goals. 90 plus 8. This was the winner. Yeah, he takes the corner. Gets the ball in from Ombi. Not the best. Headed it out. Staying on the back post. The technique from here is just unbelievable. Cross the body. Far post. Give me the three points. What a dramatic way to win this one tonight for Louisville City. A first come from behind win here in 2023. We look at our Pave Masters full time stats. I mean, Louisville, when you look at the stats, they deserved it. Yeah, 100%. They were the better team on the night. They created the most chances. Unfortunately, only two goals, but the three points. Hopefully in the next couple games, they can finish more of those chances so they don't have to win it in the 98th minute. Yeah, 10 shots on target, 22 shots. What a game it was here in Louisville. Well, that will do it for our coverage tonight from Louisville, Kentucky and Lynn Family Stadium. Tonight's final score is brought to you by Gorski Law Office. It's Louisville coming from behind. Oakland put in a valiant effort, but in the end, not enough to get it done. For our entire crew, broadcast partner Corey Herzog, I'm Josh Eastern saying so long from Louisville. Lose City, 2-1 winners. Good night.
This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship.